Canoe EV is going to be working with NASA. Today, let's talk about it. I'm going to bring you up to date on it. All right, welcome back to All Cars, y'all. I'm John, and this is pretty exciting news that EV manufacturing startup Canoe is going to be working with NASA. Now, while I would like to say that they were going to be building the next lunar rover, the fact is far more down to earth. But um, tss. honestly, I need to say thank you up front. I found out about this from two of my viewers who let me know. Although I follow Auto News pretty closely. I don't catch everything and I didn't know anything about this and it was an eagle-eyed Redditor who actually stumbled across it. And what it is is that the government put out a request for proposal for the Artemis crew transport vehicle. Now first off I had to go look up what Artemis was because I'd plum forgotten. That's the program to get humankind back on the moon. So that's supposed to be 2024 is what I'm reading right now. And they're looking at the vehicle that takes the astronauts from a building to the launch pad. That's it. It's a little underwhelming, but it's still a surprise that Canoe got it. I've done a lot of videos about Canoe, and for every step forward, they seem to take a step back, but they, they do feel like they're building a little bit of momentum here, building two factories. You can go read about it. But this is really cool stuff. So I'm gonna put up a bunch of stuff here real quick. The first is the uh, from the sam.gov site. I'll actually provide a link to it below where you can go look at this yourself. But it actually was originally published in September of 2021. And they were looking for proposals to replace their current vehicle. Now, here's what it looks like. It's a 1980s Aerostream. It's pretty cool, but it's pretty ancient. So there has been uh, an executive order to move towards zero emissions. So they actually put out a request considering three different options. They would look at a non-commercial option that could be modified into their requirements. It could be a commercially available vehicle, or they could refurbish the existing Airstream. Now they also went ahead and they put out several different requirements and it's pretty interesting to read because number one, it had to be zero emissions. It had to be meet current uh, Highway Safety Administration standards. So it had to be road legal from that perspective. And they would provide the exterior markings and things like that for whatever vehicle ended up being proposed. They go ahead and say that it needs to hold eight people, which is a driver, full four fully suited flight crew members, a suit technician, a flight operations director, and a protective services agent. So apparently, down there in Florida, they actually have a security person ride with them all the way out to the actual launch pad. I thought that was pretty cool. They go into more detail about the actual equipment that this vehicle needs to handle. The Four equipment bags totaling 8,000 cubic inches, four ice base cooling units, equipment bag, pad transfer bag, and two cubic feet per passenger. Now they also had additional requirements such as large enough doors for the passengers and fully suited crew to get in, an egress, e an in and out door, and an emergency exit door, and they had to be able to run the air conditioning and do things like that. They actually got some questions and so they had to put together a Q&A to answer it. And I love one of these because it said things like you don't have to have special seat belts. They can use just a regular seat belt in this vehicle. It did have to meet safety standards. It had to be able to operate eight hours between charges. And that includes sitting there, essentially idling, letting the air conditioner run. Also had to have a 110 volt outlet to plug in other equipment. And my favorite question, does NASA have a preferred ingress egress location? Now you and I both know that question is, do you want to be able to open the back or do you want to be able to open the side? The answer, pure government speak, the preferred ingress egress location would be through a door on the vehicle exterior. That just 
cracks me up. I absolutely love it. And so ultimately, uh, Canoe won this for a very, a relatively low amount of money. I mean, if you're talking about just one vehicle, it's pretty substantial, but to take something and modify it into this, it, this sounds a little low to me, but they ended up winning the contract for $147,855. I can't find any information about what other manufacturers tried to compete for this. I know that SpaceX has used a Tesla Model Y to take their uh, to take NASA astronauts out to their rockets, and then uh, Bezos, when he went up in his rocket, he used a Rivian to get out there. So it's really cool that Canoe stepped up to do this, and I wish we knew a little bit more about what they were going to use in terms of the basis. Now their whole shtick is that they've got a platform that is easily modifiable. My first thought was going to be their activity vehicle, the little egg-shaped thing that's super, super cool, but they are making delivery vans as well, which are substantially larger, and I think one of those, modifying one of those, uh, stretching it perhaps, is going to be the way that they go. It might end up looking a little boxy, but a little futuristic at the same time. We just don't know right now, but... It's a really cool thing they're doing. I'm glad they got this. I like to see it. And for the dollar amount being so small, the fact is this is going to be a huge advertising opportunity for Canoe, get a lot of notoriety about their products. When we see those astronauts riding out there to the next manned mission to the moon, there's a lot of people who are gonna be going, what the heck is that thing right there? So there's your news update. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. But I'm going to keep following this one, see if we get any more information about who else bid on it. Um, I'm curious about some of the other companies myself. But thanks for being here, guys.